Hello, good morning, and happy, happy moon day. I hope you had a good dreamy, floaty Pisces week last week. Um, and I hope you're ready to get started uh, getting moving, taking more action, taking more steps towards your goal for this first quarter in Gemini week. Um, <clears throat> cheers, I hope you're having a cozy, uh, a nice warm beverage this morning to start off your day. Since the light is growing and the light is increasing, we're going to be using picking a collective card with the Work Your Light deck um, <clears throat> to see what collectively we, sh we might all be facing this week. Um, because we're focusing on the first quarter in Gemini, we're going to do a throat chakra mantra and pick some throat chakra cards. Uh, we're going to use our mala with a throat chakra mantra and I also picked out an Amazonite palm stone for us. This actually made an appearance in the pick a card for the new moon. So I'm just kind of like carrying that through this moon cycle with me and thought it would be perfect for throat chakra energy for today. Um, so I thought we would jump right into the mantra we're listening to. 741 hertz, which is the throat chakra uh, solfeggio frequency. Um, I thought we would just jump into the mantra to start off the, uh, the video, just in case anyone just wants to get started with their uh, day afterwards, and um, then we will check in with the moon energy for this week um, afterwards. So. Uh, the mantra we are using for the throat is HAM, H-A-M, and let's take a deep breath. HAM. <clears throat> <clears throat> My throat chakra needs some work. HAM. 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 Hum, 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 hum. Hum, 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 
home. Definitely felt some energy shifting there for me. Always, I need all the chakra work. <laughs> and that's the thing about working with energy is it's always shifting and changing. So you can unblock and clear different chakras, but it's always going to, depending on the things that you encounter in your life, the things that you encounter in your mind, um, are always gonna bring things, shift and change things, bring them out of balance add new blockages that need to be cleared so we're always shifting and changing and that is that is the point of following the moon is getting into this change and flow things shift all the time we try to like force everything to be the same like this is I feel comfortable right here let me stay like this forever and it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. We have to get used to shifting and changing and growing. And that's what following the moon teaches us. Um, let's pick a throat chakra card for this week. So we're starting off the week uh, in Taurus. With a waxing crescent Taurus. Oh, excuse me. That <laughs> mantra made me sleepy. Um, but yawning is a a shift in energy um, you're you're having this movement of energy and your brain says I need more oxygen to shift this uh, so that's why you want it doesn't mean you're tired well I guess it could have like put me in a sleepy kind of meditative state but all right let's pick a card for the collective freedom of expression banish fear of judgment now let it constrict you no longer. Know that the expression of your highest truth is protected and supported by spirit. Speak your authentic wisdom with conviction and courage. Rest assured that doing so will bring you to where you are meant to be. Share your truth from a place of loving compassion so your words land with the intention that you use to compose them. See, the crystal they recommend is lazulite, which I have not worked with before, and the herb is chamomile. Chamomile is a sleepy, sleepy kind of tea. Maybe that's why I'm yawning. <laughs> All right, so that is our throat chakra card for the collective. I think I'm just going to shuffle uh, the work your light deck while I'm talking about this week um, to help like charge the deck with that energy so that we're getting, getting messages for the collective. Um, in regards to this week so like I said we're starting off with a a um, a waxing crescent in Taurus uh, I've used uh, just like a regular pencil to shade in my uh, moons for this week uh, because I find that's just the best so that you can see the sign uh, through you you can't see it as well as I can um, but when, when we're coming from a new moon, when we're coming from a most, mostly dark moon, uh, I just find that that's easier so that they show through. Um, so waxing crescent, uh, if you're shading in your circles, the, the crescent, the light side is on the right because the moon is waxing. Um, So Taurus energy, I'm wearing green today for my Taurus energy uh, to connect to the earth. Um, ooh, this one wants to come out. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, um, so I'm wearing green today to connect to the earth energy that is Taurus. Uh, you might wanna focus on like beautifying something in your life, whether that's on your person or in your physical space. Because uh, uh, when we have like everything neat and organized and orderly and structured, uh, that gives us more opportunity to be productive. So I do typically like to try to be very productive on Earth days. I try to get some, some strengthening movement to my body. Um, uh, doing some weightlifting or some like sit-ups or push-ups or something like that just to help 
make me feel physically strong and physically like connected to my body. Uh, so we'll be in Taurus uh, a little uh, uh, through Monday and Tuesday, and then we're shifting into Gemini on Wednesday. Um, the first quarter won't be until Thursday, but we're still shifting into that Gemini energy. Um, and the keywords for that we have for first quarter Gemini is cultivate communication. Um, this might be a good time to like revise your intentions and make sure you're planning and taking those steps and actions and either voicing that physically out into the universe like this is what I intend to do um, or writing it down because writing is still a form of communication so it's I really like the form of writing um, I do think that speaking speaking your intentions out loud is very very helpful and productive um, we're also leaving the Venus um, the Venus retrograde shadow so like we're totally out of the retrograde energy of Venus and this might help you communicate this Gemini Venus energy might help you communicate uh, things that you've been maybe putting off due to the Venus retrograde within your relationships um, it's just gonna I think that's going to open up some like really nice helpful loving and compassionate communication during this time um, let's see so um, what it take take the first steps towards your intentions write it out or shout it out program some clear courts with your intention and carry it with you as you uh, complete your daily tasks um, this is a wonder I always wear a clear quartz necklace um, that I that has programmed uh, basically like every ceremony I've ever done every ritual I've ever done it was uh, I wore it during uh, some graduation ceremonies um, it's just nice to like have that energy and to wear it around your neck it's nice to have it around your throat chakra um, if you're trying to if you need help with any sort of communication this week um, and I like that it's in the middle of the week that's the gonna if the Gemini first quarter energy is going to be like the bulk of the week I feel like um, so that's why we're really focusing on the throat chakra uh, we're gonna uh, pick a work your light card in a moment um, and then because then on Friday we're going to shift into cancer energy which is watery caring loving nurturing so get your self-care programmed into cancer days that's what I tend to do um, something that literally fills your cup up something like this isn't like binge watching TV or scrolling through social media for hours on end this is like something that really rejuvenates your body and your soul so maybe that's like some gentle yoga some meditation some journaling um, uh, coloring I've been doing a lot of coloring that's gonna I think that's just gonna be my thing is coloring and tarot on twitch because uh, it just helps me get into the flow and to uh, it helps the, the card messages come through very clearly too so um, coloring is one of my go-to's I always just feel so rejuvenated and relaxed after coloring um, just finding finding your thing that finding your thing that like really nourishes you eating eating your favorite meal and like actually sitting and enjoying it, taking a nap, doing, uh, reading a book, whatever it is that like really rejuvenates you. That's not gonna, like when we're scrolling on social media, that's just, that's draining. It's draining your cup. Um, binge watching TV is just kind of numbing and pausing. Um, so it's not actually like nourishing you. Um, so that'll make for a really nice weekend. Um, so the energy that we're flowing through this week, we're starting off with earth, grounding, stable, stability, moving through air, which is wisdom, knowledge, communication, uh, and then flowing through water and self-care and loving and nurturing, compassion kind of energy. Uh, we do shift into Leo at the end of the day on Sunday. Um, so you might be feeling that fire energy uh, towards the end of the week too. Um, so where should we focus? Where should the collective focus? A couple cards flew out, but I think they were just 
I think I was just not paying attention to shuffling. Ooh, interesting, the Pleiades. <clears throat> Double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. <laughs> it's like not a good place to do the whole card. There we go. <clears throat> These are transmission cards. Okay. <clears throat> the Pleiadians are a group of star beings dedicated to raising the vibration of the planet and sharing new consciousness through creations and technology. They have been incarnating on Earth since the near the beginning of humanity. You are a soul who has a double mission, to grow at a soul level and to raise the vibration of the planet. If you have been called to write, oh, this is a good one. If you have been called to write, speak, or channel, this is your sign to keep doing it. Your work is divinely guided of all of all the souls, Pleiadians are the chattiest, and so perhaps you have already started channeling some of this work into the third dimension. Thank you for doing your part in the great plan. Your presence and unique light is needed. This is so interesting that it's the keywords here are write, speak, or channel. And that perhaps you, uh, the Pleiadians are the chattiest. So this is totally in, in sync with our Gemini energy that we're focusing on this week. And so <clears throat> there's a work your light transmission. It says, hold the card on your heart and say, I'll hold it on my heart for you. I call upon Pleiadian consciousness of the highest realms and highest good of humanity to work through me. Let me be a channel for only the purest light of the essence of source. Let me channel in a way that also serves me. <clears throat> so having your communication be the purest, the purest form that for the highest good of all. It's not judgy or nitpicky or um, in defense of your hurt feelings, like speaking your truth, speaking honestly and speaking clearly. Um, to help raise the vibration of the planet. I love this energy. I love the, I feel like it resonates with the Amazonite energy too. Um, and Amazonite, although it is a throat chakra card, it does kind of have this earthy element to it. So I like that we're flowing through earth, Taurus, through Gemini. And I, I just really feel like that encapsulates everything. And then it also is a wonderful, beautiful ocean watercolor. So it really, I really feel like it captures the energy for this week. Um, I hope you have a wonderful week. I've got lots of exciting things coming up for you, um, including uh, announcing right now for the first time that I finally have a coffee shop or a Ko-Fi shop, however you want um, to pronounce it. I'll put the link in the description below. Um, I feel like this is going to be a good opportunity to have, hopefully have a, with a membership community, it will be closer and more intimate. Um, it will uh, replenish my energy for the time that I put in, that I usually put in for everything. Um, that way I'm not draining my cup by doing all of these free things on Facebook that get lost and nobody sees them and it's just like why am I putting this time and energy into this so this way it we will have this membership community a subscription service there's different tiers where you can donate and um, <clears throat> one of them is going to be just like the lowest tier 
of basic support, um, but you will be able to get individual card readings for that. Um, whereas the collective readings here are going to be in the Facebook group. Um, I'm hoping that this will just make it more, maybe more, more people feel more comfortable with sharing their uh, journey through the Just a Phase Planner. Um, the higher tiers will actually get you some physical items as well as more in-depth monthly readings. Um, this is a way to, uh, for me to give back to you um, for your donations and your, um, and, and like the, the, the donations that you give me versus Twitch takes half of that money. Um, so by subscribing to Twitch, yeah, you're getting some fun emotes, but I'm not actually really getting uh, any of that support. So um, I hope that this is something that's going to work for both of us. Um, that way I can, we can have this equal energy exchange so that I'm not continuously draining my cup and um, still able to give back, but also able to still support myself <clears throat> uh, sustain sustainably. I always get myself into unsustainable situations where I'm just constantly draining. Um, <clears throat> so uh, I hope that you have a wonderful week. I'll see you next moon day and the moon day I like the flow of how we did everything today there's timestamps in the description if you just need to jump in with the mantra and you want to start your your day off with that um, you can do that or you can jump to the information if you need to um, I think that's how the moon days are going to start flowing and then I have finally mapped out uh, how we're going to be doing the morning elemental energy um, and I think it's gonna work really well so I've got I've got lots of stuff coming the the coffee shop has launched um, <clears throat> I've got some videos coming up and uh, yeah that's about it. <laughs> all right thank you guys so much have a good week